This is Frank Waldecker speaking for the Ideal Toy Corporation. What you are about to see is a television first, an actual business meeting televised into the home. 5,000 toy retailers of the New York metropolitan area have been invited to see a preview showing of the ideal toys that America's children will see, hear about, and want this Christmas. Before we call the meeting to order, just a word of caution to you viewers who are not toy retailers. This is not an entertainment program. So if it's entertainment you're after, if you'd like to see this, we respectfully suggest that you switch to another channel. However, if you would like to know what does go on at a corporation sales meeting, you're welcome to watch. <laughs> It's a wonderful toy. It's Ideal. On behalf of Ideal, I want to welcome you, the key toy retailers in the New York metropolitan area. This meeting can mean a great deal to each and every one of us. To Ideal, it represents an unusual opportunity to unveil to all of you simultaneously, through the magic of television, our advertising and selling program coming your way this fall. For you, this meeting can be summed up in a phrase that's the sweetest music a retailer can hear. Your biggest Christmas ever. Yes, you'll see Ideal's outstanding toys. You'll see and hear about the advertising campaign designed to put those toys at the top of every youngster's Christmas list. And you'll meet many of the top personalities who sell Ideal toys for you on television. In addition, you will be shown many ideas in displays and promotions that will help you make all this pay off right where it counts the most, at your cash register. Before we get down to business, I'd like you to meet Addie Riley, one of Ideal's junior sales executives. Hello, Hattie. Hello. Now, Addie will be helping us select the winners on our prize-winning contest. The name of every toy retailer in the New York metropolitan area has been put on one of these cards and placed in this hopper. When this buzzer sounds, a name will be drawn. If your name is drawn, you call this number, Oregon 5, 6100, anytime up to 10 minutes after the end of this program. And the prize is yours. It's just as simple as that. And now I'd like to show you what 14 lucky retailers will win. Two Admiral portable television sets, five Polaroid land cameras, six Admiral transistor radios, and the grand prize your choice of a four-passenger go-go mobile or a two-week all-expense-paid trip for two in exotic Hawaii. And now, let's get down to the real business of the evening. For over 52 years, Ideal has been famous as one of the nation's largest toy factories. Just a few short weeks ago, something all of you read about and saw on television now gives Ideal an international reputation. No. It's not Steve Canyon nursing a jet-propelled headache. It's Soviet Deputy Premier Kozlov, shown during his recent tour of the Ideal Factory, which was arranged by the United States State Department, and how he enjoyed getting close to a real American doll. Yes, when Mr. Kozlov smiled, millions of Americans saw it, and only minutes after it happened. That's the power of television. For sheer immediacy and impact, TV can't be beat. And for Ideal, Nothing sells like TV. Most of you remember what happened when commercials like this first hit the airwaves on WNEW TV a few short months ago. Steve Canyon to control tire, ready for takeoff. Hi, that I fool you? Well, no wonder. This is Ideal Steve Canyon jet helmet, exactly like Steve's, made by Ideal for junior jet pilots everywhere. Great for zooming along on your bicycle. It's made of unbreakable Fortiflex. That's right, it'll fit any size head. Here's the official Air Force insignia right up here on top. Here's your sun visor and here's your oxygen mask. And right inside the oxygen mask, built in, you'll find a speaker so that you'll sound just like Steve on his intercom. Now, if you'd like a jet helmet like Steve Canyon's, remember only Ideal makes it. Ask for the official Steve Canyon jet helmet, only $2.98. The commercial you just saw was a phenomenal success. So outstanding, in fact, that the demand for Steve Canyon helmets 
still exceeds the supply. But now I'd like you to meet a man who knows more about Steve Canyon than anyone else. In fact, he's Steve Canyon's creator, Milton Kenneth. Steve Canyon is the Air Force Lieutenant Colonel who began his career as a comic strip hero and skyrocketed to fame as the star of his own top-rated TV show. Milton, how would you explain the popularity of the Steve Canyon helmet? Well, it was a carefully planned promotion every step of the way. It started with the Steve Canyon comic strip, which appears daily and Sunday in more than 600 newspapers. Then last fall, we started with the Steve Canyon TV show, a program as authentic as a year and a half research could make it. You know, the kids sensed this authenticity, and they liked the adventure and the excitement. Overnight, I'm proud to say, Steve Canyon became one of the nation's favorite TV heroes. Now, secondly, the helmet's very authentic, a replica of the one used by the Air Force. All the fighter pilots wear these, but a child doesn't have to be in an airplane to enjoy it. I've heard of them wearing it while riding their bicycles and roller skating in simulated flight formation. The fact that it's made of unbreakable Fortiflex. No wonder the kids really go for it. But perhaps most importantly, Ideal backed it up with a hard-hitting TV advertising campaign five times a day on the right shows. The Steve Canyon helmet just couldn't miss, and it didn't. And I predict an even bigger future for it this Christmas. It certainly makes a perfect combination with Ideal Steve Canyon glider bomb. You're so right. And I'd like to enlarge upon Milton Kenneth's prediction. I predict that this Christmas will be your biggest Christmas ever right down the line.